and welcome to the eFresh.com Fruit, Vegetables and Potato News. Today is the 6th of October. My name is Kim and these are this week's headlines. Florida citrus growers want dumping investigation. Taiwan helps Salvadorian farmers. APH Group delivers mega order to China. Tomatoes bring juice back in border trade. Thailand to increase fruit exports to China. The Florida Citrus Mutual is contemplating its next move in the ongoing issue of underpriced orange juice imported from Brazil. The state's largest citrus trade organization says the illegal action of Brazilian orange juice processors reducing prices well below the cost of production, also known as dumping, is cutting into Florida growers' profits. Now, Florida Citrus Mutual may ask the U.S. Department of Commerce to initiate a full anti-dumping investigation against Brazil. Last year, the organization found Brazilian frozen concentrate juice sold for 37% less than the cost of production, and not from concentrate juice sold at 78% less than production cost. As a result, state growers lost at least $100 million over two crop seasons, according to Florida Citrus Mutual data. Taiwan Ambassador to El Salvador, Carlos Liao, presented $200,000 U.S. dollars in loans to farmers in northern El Salvador to allow them to plant high-end fruit strains bred by Taiwanese experts. Liao said Taiwan has maintained a technological mission in El Salvador for more than 38 years. During this time, it has launched many educational programs to help Salvadorians develop high-end agriculture and aquaculture by offering loans and technological know-how. Taiwan developed papaya and guava strains grow especially well in Chalatenego. He also stated that with the assistance of Taiwanese experts, local farmers have planted 65 hectares of papayas and 12 hectares of guavas in the province over the past three years, generating more than 1.6 million U.S. dollars in revenue. An order of more than 10 million euros. That is the size of the order which APH Group out of Yore, the Netherlands, has signed with and delivered to the Chinese company Zisen Potato Industry Group Limited. The order includes the delivery of a complete package for soil and potato machinery for the growth of 7,000 hectares of potatoes. In 2008, APH Group delivered the first Koning Mini Tuber planters and Devolof two-row bunker harvesters to Zisen. In 2009, the cooperation continued with the delivery of A.O. Kun power harrows and fertilizer spreaders. In total, more than 130 containers of 40 feet each have been shipped from Rotterdam to Taijen Seaport. A small investigation showed that this is the biggest single deal in potato machinery ever made in the world. Tomatoes from India, mostly in Nashik and Maharashtra, are flooding Pakistani kitchens, sending trade between the countries across the Atari border and Punjab soaring. The tomato crop in Pakistan has failed this year. In contrast, Nashik has seen a bumper crop. Not surprisingly, around 1.5 lakh kilos, which is about 150 tons of tomatoes, are traveling daily in truckloads from India to Pakistan. Cross-border trade has fallen steeply after Pakistan imposed a 25% duty six months ago on potatoes and onions imported from India. These two being the chief items of export through Atari, the number of trucks crossing daily fell from 120 to around a dozen. Now, around 130 fully laden trucks have been traveling from India to Pakistan daily, thanks to the newfound demand for tomatoes. Thailand will use the new land route, R9, to transport agricultural goods to the People's Republic of China. The objective is to increase Thai exports, especially fruits and vegetables, which are popular in the Chinese market. R9 is a new highway linking Thailand with Laos, Vietnam and China, starting from Mukdahan province into the northeast of Savannakhet, Hanoi, and Beijing. Through this route, it will take only five days to transport goods to the Sinfadi market in the Chinese capital. This route will shorten traveling time to Beijing, which now takes as long as 10 days. It will offer a good opportunity for Thailand to sell more fresh fruits and vegetables to Chinese consumers. Fruits and vegetables are products that have become increasingly important to the Thai economy. Thai fruit exports to China amount to between 4 and 5 billion baht each year. Thank you for watching the eFresh.com fruit, vegetables, and potato news. See you next time.